With the release of Resolume 7.3 came the addition of parameter start settings. This is a new feature for advanced Resolume users, giving them more control over their animations. It allows a user to set what triggers the start of an animation. I use this composition to demonstrate the new features. I've added three colorized effects to demonstrate the three different start settings for timelines. Composition load, clip trigger, and column trigger. The three colorized effects all have their opacity animated and the playback mode is set to play once and hold. Clicking on the cogwheel reveals a new option, start settings. This dictates when the parameter starts running. The default setting for a parameter in the composition tab is composition load. This means the effect parameter starts animating when the composition is loaded from disk. You can change this to clip trigger or column trigger if you like. Multiple trigger conditions can be used at the same time. In this next example, we have set the start setting to clip start. The animation starts running as soon as the clip is started. In the third example, we have set the start setting to column start. The animation starts running as soon as a column is triggered. In the fourth example, I have turned all the start settings off. This means there is no way the animation starts unless I start it manually. When we look at the rest of the animation, you can see the play mode is set to play once and hold. When I click on the play button, the animation starts and stops at the end of the timeline. I have used an envelope to create a bounce effect without having to use the bounce play mode. Setting it up like this allows me to create one-shot effects. I have mapped the play button of both parameters to my keyboard, but you could of course use a MIDI or OSC trigger as well. Now I can quite easily play along to the music. Next, let's have a look at BPM synchronization and start settings. In the next example, we have a clip running that is BPM synchronized to 8 beats. The opacity of the edge detection effect is synchronized to 4 beats. When the clip is triggered, the clip restarts. However, the timeline of the effect is slaved to the master BPM. Even though the clip restarts, the timeline will keep running. This is known as BPM phase lock and is the default mode when using BPM sync. The next clip is identical to the previous one except that the start setting is now set to clip trigger. The effect is still in sync with the BPM but no longer in phase with the BPM. We hope you find many creative uses for this new feature. This can really help you to VJ with effects rather than clips, so we are curious how you are going to use this. I'll see you in the next one.